Today we'll finally go over the difference between distance and displacement, as it has been requested many times, and we'll make it crystal clear as I usually do with some relatable examples. Now first, let's look at what is distance and displacement, and then we'll go over from there. Distance will be defined as the length traveled by an object. How much ground has been covered, literally. The key word that I want you to keep in mind is traveled. Pay attention to that because we will use it to distinguish and know the difference between distance and displacement. Let's look at displacement now. It is the shortest path between two points, with no regard to how much you have to travel to get there. This is usually just a straight line, because displacement is a vector. Now let's make that more clear with some examples, and it'll be much more concrete and solid. Suppose you're going from your house to the library. To get there, the displacement is the shortest straight line between the house and the library. Let's say if we draw a straight line from here to here, that's going to be 2 kilometers. But when you actually get in your car or bike or you start walking and start traveling and moving to get there, there will be buildings and barriers on the path of that straight line. So you'll have to go and move around the buildings and along the built up roads to actually get there. Which means you'll end up traveling more than two kilometers. And that is distance. When you use the running app on your phone, after the exercise, you're gonna get something like this map that reports your progress. The total distance is the drawn path around this track. But if we have this green dot as the starting point and the red dot as the finishing point, the displacement will be this straight line from here to here only, no matter how much distance there is for you to finish those five laps or six laps, depending on your exercise. No matter how many times I went around the track during the exercise, because displacement is how far out something is with no regard to how far you need to go and move to get there. And this is really it, it's as simple as that. Make sure to like this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends who you might think is interested. Subscribe to the channel because I've got more basic but also more complex things that are coming up and we're going to talk about many different things that i'm really excited about once again thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time